CB Shaves and thanks for joining me for another shave, a Sunday shave. And yes, I know it's late, <laughs> but it's late on purpose. Uh, apologies as well for um, lack of content through the week. I have been so busy, not just me, Mrs. B as well. I've been filling skips, I've been building barbecues, I've been painting fences. Purely a lifestyle thing, I, I just haven't had the time. But all that's going to change next week, because don't forget, we've got still in September coming up, and I'll get more into that later on. Right, how you doing? Are you having a good weekend? Good. Right, what are we using? Excited, and I'm using something special because Mrs B and I are having a barbecue today, and this is why I've left it later. I've left it to the last minute before I uh, go down and start sorting out the food for the barbie. Getting a few people around, having a bit of shindig. And uh, yeah, as it's bank holiday here over in the UK, we get an extra day off tomorrow. It's my day off on Tuesday and then I've got another day off on Wednesday, so I'm not back in work till Thursday. Ah, happy days. Right, <laughs> what are we using? Sapronificio Barasino. Just makes you want to sing, doesn't it? 70th anniversary special edition. Vegetable soap, triple milled. I love triple milled soaps. Let me know your thoughts on triple milled soaps, whether you prefer them or you prefer like, like the soft soaps, the cropes. And here it is out the tub. Hard soap. What I love about these soaps as well is not just the quality and the love that's gone into to making these soaps. They last. I think this is 30, is it 32 pound 50, something like that, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'll leave a link in anyway in the description. But they last. You get lots, hundred or more shaves out of that easy, and it fits almost perfect in my captain's choice seaworthy bowl. Not blooming it. I normally bloom a hard soap, a really hard soap. This time I just decided not to. Stop waffling. What we go? What we going with with the uh, razor? Razor is the winning razor, made by Yates Precision. Absolutely beautiful piece of engineering. And it's made for the Wet Shaving Club. And I'll leave a link into that as well in the description. Beautiful razor, heavy weight, I think it's just shy of 120 grams. All stainless steel construction. And if you noticed that little thing on the end, it's a magnet. And that's the blade we're using. A Yora Max a Platinum Coated. Comes double wrapped. As you can see, there it is, Euromax. And it's the second use of that. So let's load the blade. Yeah, beautiful piece of engineering. There's, there's the base plate with the lather channels. Absolutely stunning piece of work. Beautiful razor. I can't remember the last time I used this, to be honest with you. I know it's been a while ago. No overhang whatsoever on this. No overhang. Blade alignment looks good. And if you notice, it's quite Edwin Jag... Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Henson. Headlight design. Against that a little bit as well. Brush of choice is my... Let me get it the right way around. It's my Razorock 400 with the 24mm Pliss Soft Knot. Let's get that soaking. And we'll pick it up on the brush and we'll have it on the face. Three flicks of the brush. And I'm just going to hold it with my thumb and just, just gather off the puck. And you can see it already. It's picking up quite nicely. So how your shaves going guys, okay? And don't forget your shaves of the day if you've shaved today, or if you're shaving today. You know, I love reading the, uh, your shaves of the day in the comments, and keep your comments coming guys, please. Absolutely love them. I think I'm gonna go with that. For now, we can always go back to the puck. Get that bit off my thumb. Right, let's wet the mush. And I'll go through the scent notes as we go. 
Really looking forward to this. Looking forward to the barbie as well. I haven't had a barbecue or a gathering for over two years with the pandemic. Let's get this painting on. Sorry, did I splash you then? <laughs> oh, the smell. And you know what, guys? You can feel the quality on your skin of this soap. Made in Italy. Wow. I have a week's growth, but I've trimmed it. I waited, um, I had to get a new trimmer because mine died on me. And I've had an air cut. I've had an air cut with my new trimmer. I thought I'd try it on the growth. Works brilliant. I'll show you another video what trimmer I got. Right, let that out. Let's get some heat in the razor. Let's get shaving. So looking forward to this. Oh, the scent. I think um, this is a dupe on Aqua Di Gio by Armani. And it's, it is quite an, an aqua scent. It's, oh, it's beautiful. Real confident, uplifting scent. Right, shut up Chris. Here we go, first pass with the winning razor. You're a max. Second use. Wow. That feels fantastic. Now with this head, when I first used it, I thought it was dragging. But apparently it's not, it's the design of the head and I believe the Henson does the same thing. With the design, it creates like a suction, which I think is a fantastic piece of engineering because the blade, I don't think can get any closer to your skin. Now I've polished the head up a little bit on this to um, help reduce that little bit of drag feeling and it's worked great. You can I've seen these highly polished and people say that they're 10 times better and I didn't think it could get any better because this is one superb razor. Reasonably priced as well considering the engineering that's gone into it. Like I say, I'll leave a, a link in the description underneath you can take a look yourself superb <laughs> yeah like I said <laughs> I've been extremely busy as always but I've done that much work I've free time up so I can just sit back and relax a little bit I need a break for a bit anyway. I just just non-stop. Work's been so busy. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever. It may look like I am, but I'm not. Just let the raise and the blade do the job. Yeah, I had to go a new trim it. Mine gave up on me. I was desperate need. Of a haircut. Wow, beautiful. Good slickness, as you would expect. It's a fantastic quality soap, guys. And the notes in this are orange, bergamot, sage, rose, clove, cedar wood, sweet patchouli, and amber. Absolutely fun. 
fantastic scents and it's an awesome blend. Might be enough in this brush for all three passes. Oh, it smells amazing guys. It really is a real confident uplifting scent. It's the citrus isn't in your face with the orange, but it's there, it's a bright citrus, it's, it, it, it's light, it's really pleasant on the nose. Like I said, it's got aquatic notes in it. And the green notes as well, the, 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 the floral notes, it's a great blend. It, it's not in your face. It, it all marries together really well. It's a well thought out, so scent. Here we go. Across the grove, second part. Yeah, still in September, looking forward to it. Great for getting onto the nostrils. I'm going to start a bit of a tag for still in September. September. <laughs> Here we go. Still in September. And I'm going to tag Jim Henderson from Jimble Shaves. Your tag. And I'm gonna tag John Shaves 101. Your tag, John. I'm gonna tag Sticks Six Solo. <laughs> Stig Solo. <laughs> I need a drink. Six Solo. Um, who else? There's another one. Mr. G. Gary from Mr. G Shaves. I'm tagging you as well, mate, to do a steel in September where you use nothing but steel in soaps. If you want to um, use a steel in soap on one shave, and another soap on another shape in the same week, then that's fine. So check out the channels, I'll leave links in the description. Check out the channels if you haven't already and go and give them a sub. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Oh. Do you know what I really love these Euromax blades? You just don't see many people using them. And they're a great blade. They don't get the recognition they deserve. Holy cow, that is close. And we've got a bit of a treat today as well. Um, from yesterday and today, there's um, a town called Rill just up the road, about 30, 40 minutes away. 45 minutes away actually and uh, it's the air show and it's the first one since covid and the we have a display team by the raf the royal air force over here in the uk called the red arrows and from where they're based in a place not far from here also called harden is where the airbus factory is where they make the wings for the um, airbus and that's where the station, because they have their own little airport there. And their flight path to rail that way is right through our valley and over our house. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to try, if I can, <laughs> try and give it on camera. It'll be like, <laughs> there they go. But uh, yeah, it'd be cool to see. If I do get any footage, I'll show it in the next video of the fly pass. I doubt it though. They might be a little bit too far away or if they're gonna to be too quick. And that's today, that's round about um I think it's round about twenty-five to five PM. 
And here we go, the money pass against the Grove. My favourite pass. So, yeah. So I'll be there cooking the food on the barbie. I'm going to fly by by the Red Arrows. Awesome. Oh, great feedback. Fantastic slickness with this soap. Beautiful razor, like I said. I always get great results with this razor. And it's really comfortable in the hand, considering the weight. I like razors with a bit of weight, as you know. You can really feel it suck into the skin. It's a strange feeling, but you can feel the efficient the efficiency with the blade and the razor working together. In unison. What are we having on the barbie? There'll be chicken, corn on the cob, there'll be some steak, um, probably do some jacket potato. I'm not doing burgers. Mrs. B wants hot dogs. She loves hot dogs. I just don't fancy burgers. I'll, I'll do some for other people. I find them quite filling and then I'm too full to enjoy, enjoy the rest of the food. You know what I mean? Yeah, so apologies again for the lack of content, guys. I, I just have not had the time. As always. But I'm going to put that right next week because I'm hoping with the steel in September to get as many shades in a week as I can. I'm estimating three at the most, but if I can do more, if I have to shave every day or if I've got the time to shave every day, then that's what I'll do. I'm really looking forward. I need a bit more on that top lip. For some reason, as you can see, Struggling a bit. I'm going for the BBS today. This is a little special occasion of having some friends round. First time in two years, well, nearly three years. Just the usual suspect. You hear that? Plenty in the brush. How long did I load that up for? And I didn't bloom the water, and that's one of the softest knots I've got. Look how water is.
Hallo. Love the album. Absolutely nothing. No irritation, no zing, no sting. No issues. Right, matching splash. Saprona Ficio. Veracino. Give it a shake. People say, why'd you shake your, uh, your splashes? It's just to help mix the ingredients. Especially Vartisan splashes. I don't know if it makes any difference. It's Oh, what a scent. You, you can smell more of the aquatic notes in the splash. It's absolutely beautiful. Confident, refreshing. Ticked all the boxes. Right, bomb we're going for is Aqua Velva Sensitive 5 in 1. I hope you can see that because my eyes aren't focused and I don't know if it's in focus on the camera. That's all you need. Besides, I've done that for a while. What do you mean good? Yeah, it got on my nerves as well. It's like habit. <laughs> wow. Oh, superb shave. And there's the result, guys. Wow. Awesome. Put me in even better mood now. <clears throat> right, that's it, guys. Thank you for your patience, guys, and sticking with me. I, I really appreciate it. It's all going to change next week. Right. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys. Um, like I say, I hope you've had a great weekend, some fantastic shaves. Let me know in the comments what you've shaved with. Um, let me know what you're doing this afternoon. You're having a barbecue? What's the weather like where you are? Let me know, because it's gone great here. We've got a few days of sun. Right, I'll let you go. Um, if we don't see you later on, I'll see you in the week. <laughs> um, have a fantastic week next week, guys. And uh, whatever you do, have fun. Right, that's it from me. So stay smooth and stay safe. See you later. Bye, guys.